Hey, my name is Julian Lopez and I will be talking about the influence of serious games and gamification in university students of English as a foreign language. And my tutors are Juan Pablo Hernandez Ramos and Azucena Hernandez Martin of the University of Salamanca. They are part of the program Education in the Knowledge Society. So, as an introduction, basically I'm going to focus on ICT tools. As we may know, many careers have changed since COVID-19 appeared. In education in particular, the use of ICT tools increasing in quite disorderly manner, and the expansion of these tools open new opportunities to update the ways of teaching and learning. So that's why I'm going to use it for learning English as a foreign language. In I know that we have been using it actually pretty well to teach any language around the world, but we are going to focus on it. And of course, the idea is to work on the four, in the four skills and based on the Common European Framework of Reference from the Foreign Languages Teaching, which is a really cool tool for teachers and learners, and they help us to know what you need to learn in any level of your language. So. All that I have said opens this, all educational research opportunities that aim to encourage and motivate learning of English in foreign language uh, to stream preview knowledge and improve the expense and optimize the foreign language skills in the case of the foreign language students. Okay, So to continue, I'm going to talk about the state of art. The first concept that I'm going to talk about is gamification, which basically is the use of the game's elements, such as design, rewards, etc., in non game contest. That's really important. It can be used in any field. If you want to see here, you have more details. And on the other hand, we have game based learning that refers to the learning process with the use of games or learning while playing, which is really different. And to continue, we have to talk about serious games that are games created with a purpose of being used for teaching. So that's really important. The goal and the specific objective will be related to education all the time. So any other concept that we need to talk about is blended learning that is going to be presented in this investigation and it combines face to face with the virtual learning. So it improves online processes to achieve the academic goal. In this case, it will help us to improve at least the oral part. So hypothesis and objectives. This objective is based on the hypothesis that serious games, game based learning and gamification will affect, will influence actually the learning process of the vocabulary and the use of language of the students. And the main goal or the general objective will be to test all the things that we have created, the video game and the courses. And the we have three specific objectives to design everything we are going to use to execute the courses and at the end, of course, to analyze all those things. Then we have the research approach and the methods, okay? So, this project will be carried out under a quasi-experimental modality with the three experimental groups. So, first, a group, an online group that, of course, will use what we have said before, all the methodology. Then we will have a blended learning course, which is hybrid. It means that here we are going to try to complete everything with the four skills that may be can be missing in the first group and also we will have a group that is a face-to-face -face. it will be traditional but also you ha will have everything related to the latest approaches and methodologies for teaching English as a foreign language and the instruments that we are going to be using are a placement test as a pre-test post-test because it's a pre-test post-test study as I said before and later we are going to analyze all the data that we can collect with the just a, a program and of also we are going to be doing a systematic, li systematic literature review and the main purpose is creating a proper revision selection and analyzing the information okay so to finish we are going to talk about the state of the thesis and the acknowledgement so we are basically using the British Educational Research Association beta as a code, okay, which aims to advance 
in three areas, research quality, research capacity, and demonstrates transparency of the researcher responsibilities to education. That's why we're using it. And also, we I had to say that we have a really cool community that is basically here in this website where we can have as a communication tool and the visibility of the progress of our investigation. Everything have been said, so thank you for your time. And here you can contact us. That's my email, Juan Pablo's email, and Azucenas. Thanks again. Bye.